Good morning. Here, the chapter is uh, inertia forces on reciprocating engine. Okay, or reciprocating parts. And the topic is uh, velocity and acceleration of the piston. Okay, so if uh, this arrangement uh, for reciprocating engine or IC engine, it is known to you. Say <coughs> this is the piston. This is the piston, and here this is connected this way. This is the connecting rod, and say let me draw the circle first. This is the center of the circle, and this is what if you join this point and uh, this point means this center then you will get the connecting rod so this is what this is uh, sorry this is crank and this is connecting rod okay and now you join this with the center okay this is the center of the piston so this is one position of the piston but say when the crank was at this position, then what will happen? The piston will move somewhere here. Okay. So say this is the position of the piston. Okay. This is the position of the piston. Uh, let me say this is A, this is O, this point is B. Okay. And when this A point, the point A was here means here okay say this point is denoted by a1 right then the uh, the b point was at here at this point say this point is denoted by b1 right so say the initial position is this point means the position of the piston was here initial point means when the crank was somewhere here at point A1, that is that was the initial position. And when the piston moves in this direction, okay, in this direction, when the piston moves, then uh, the point A1 goes to point A. Okay. So at that condition, let us assume that this angle it is theta. Okay. And this angle, this is what phi. So our target is what? Our target is to calculate, is to get the expression for velocity and acceleration of the piston. So you know that to get these expressions, we need to know the relationship between displacement. That is, what is the displacement here? Displacement of the piston. Displacement of the piston can be denoted by this. This x. Okay. This is the displacement of the piston. So, if x is known in terms of theta, because when x changes, theta changes. Theta depends upon x. So, if the relationship between x and theta is known, then just by differentiating x with respect to time, that is dx dt, derivative of x means derivative of displacement, with respect to time, if you get that expression, dx dt, I am talking about dx dt. If this expression is known, that means the velocity of the piston is known because x is the displace, uh, displacement of the piston. Okay? P is time. So dx dt is known. So dx dt can be known only when x can be known in terms of theta. Right? Similarly, acceleration can be known by differentiating this once again. That is second order derivative of x. That is uh, d dt of dx dt that is second order derivative of x with respect to time right so if this is known okay if this is known that means acceleration is known so our objective is to find out the relance, uh, re uh, sorry relationship between this x and this theta okay this is simple geometry just by analyzing this geometry, you can easily obtain the expression for x with theta. So, let us do the same thing here. 
so this is x okay so so what now x so i am writing here x this is what this is equal to b1 b right this length b1 b. x is equal to b1 b from b1 to b okay i have not joined you can join also this okay you can join this length b1 b okay so x is equal to b1 b this b1 b can be written as b1 o minus b o am i right it is equal to b1 o this length from here to here b1 o minus b o okay minus b o can you write it or not yes we can write this easy simple geometry is there this can be easily understood by all these students so b1 o b1 o this is what b1 o is equal to b1 a1 plus a1 o am i right b1 a1 b1 a1 plus a1 o okay so this is for what this is for b1 o b1 a1 plus a1 o then b o is there b o from b to o this distance this is equal to what so to do this b o you do you do one thing that is from point a you draw a perpendicular on this line so i am doing the same thing so this is the perpendicular say this point of intersection is denoted by c so this b o can be written as b c plus c o b c plus c o okay now you see b1 a1 is there b1 a1 this is what b1 a1 is the length of the connecting rod that is b a b1 a1 is equal to b a b a this is b okay b a this is equal to f length of the connecting rod is denoted by f okay because when a the point a was a was at this point b was at this b1 okay in that case this b a is equal to what this b a is equal to b1 a1 okay so b1 a1 is equal to b a is equal to f so you do the same thing here f and a1 a1 o a1 o this is what this is radius of this circle this is actually what ao ao is the crank that means ao is the length of the crank okay and that is denoted by r length of the crank uh, i am showing somewhere here ao this is length of the crank this is denoted by r and r for radius so this is equal to r so l plus r okay now bc is there bc bc from b to c so this can be written in terms of phi this length is what this is l b a is l so this is what it is l cos phi l cos phi okay l cos phi and co is how much co is there so if you consider this triangle aco then this is what this is r okay ao is r then what is co then co is equal to r cos theta r cos theta one bracket was there so you put the same bracket okay okay so this thing can be written as r you put this bracket then i am taking r as common then here you are getting l by r plus 1 okay and from here again you are getting l by r cos phi okay cos phi and here only cos theta so this thing we have got let me check whether the lower portion is visible or not uh -huh. lower most portion is not visible okay so i am erasing the upper portion uh, okay i am erasing the upper portion and once again i am going to write the lower most part okay the lower most part i am going to write again okay actually there is no helping hand here so everything i need to do on my own uh okay please have patience okay
once again I am repeating the lower most line. So lower most line was uh, R into after taking common you are getting here L by R plus 1 and here minus L by R cos phi cos phi plus cos theta cos theta ok and also you put this bracket ok now the lower most line is not necessary here it is not required so and one thing here this L by R that is the ratio of the length of the connecting rod and the length of the crank that is denoted by L small letter L so I am doing the same thing again R it is N plus 1 minus N cos phi uh, plus cos theta ok now uh, one thing if I am drawing the I am drawing the same thing here the drawing was almost like this the geometry was almost like this ok this angle was theta this angle was theta this angle was phi and this was denoted by AC this was O and this was B ok so you can see that AC whether the right side portion is visible or not yes it is visible you can see that AC this length AC this length this is equal to what this is equal to this is L and this is R so AC that is equal to L sin phi L sin phi ok and uh, AC is again R sin theta ok if you consider the triangle ABC then AC is equal to L sin phi and if you consider the triangle ACO the smaller triangle ACO then you will get AC is equal to R sin theta so I am writing here R sin theta ok that means this L sin phi is equal to R sin theta therefore from here what we are getting sin theta this is equal to this is equal to L by R into sin phi uh, sorry our requirement is to uh, sorry 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 our requirement is not to get sin theta our requirement is to get here sin phi so from here sin phi sin phi sin phi is equal to r by l sin theta and since l by r is l therefore this can be written as sin theta by l ok sin phi is equal to sin theta by l I need to check every now and then whether everything is visible or not so sin phi is equal to sin theta by l and here we can see that cos phi was there so cos phi is how much n cos phi is there ok therefore n cos phi our requirement is to get the expression for this in terms of theta so n cos phi this is what it is equal to n into root over of 1 minus sin square phi ok so n into root over of sin phi is this much so 1 minus sin square theta ok by n square if you take this n square outside the under root side then this n and this n will be cancelled and you will get only root over of n square minus sin square theta right so n cos phi is equal to this much therefore, therefore this was what this was the displacement x ok this was the displacement x so therefore displacement x this becomes equal to what this becomes equal to r into n plus 1 this is 1 ok n plus 1 is there minus n cos phi so this is equal to this much root over of n square minus sin square theta ok plus cos theta plus cos theta sorry this bracket should appear here not here it is here 
okay so this is the expression for displacement in terms of theta now if you differentiate this x with respect to time dx dt then you will get the expression for velocity of the piston and if you take second order derivative of x with respect to time then you will get acceleration acceleration of the piston okay and one more thing we uh, i want to add with this that uh, under root sign is up to here okay root of root minus square sin square theta you know that n is what n is the ratio of l and r length of the connecting rod and the radius of the crank if l is very very greater than r okay so in that case l will be very very greater than 1 am i right and what is the maximum value of sin square theta maximum value of sin square theta is 1 therefore if l is very very greater than 1 in that case n square, where yeah, n square is there, okay, n square is very very greater than 1, so that 1 means the value of maximum value of sin square theta that can be neglected, so you will get only within under root sign, only n square you will get, so if you get only n square, then after, uh, so if you uh, remove the under root sign, so you will get only n, okay, so in that case, this can be written as only n, so this n and this n will be cancelled and you will get only 1 minus cos theta. I am showing the same thing here. Okay, you will get x is equal to r into 1 minus cos theta. Well, you will get this expression for displacement only when l is very very greater than r. Okay. If L is very very greater than R, in that case, L square is very very greater than sin square theta. Because maximum value of sin square theta is 1. So, if N square is very very greater than sin square theta, in that case, sin square theta can be assumed to be 0. That can be neglected. Okay. So, after some algebraic manipulation, simple al algebraic manipulation is there. Means, if you just put it to be 0, then you will get here only N. So this n and this n are cancelled, so you are getting only what? 1 minus cos theta within bracket and r is there outside the bracket. So you will get ultimately this expression. This is the simplified expression in your uh, exam. If uh, numerical values of l and r are given, you never use this one, okay? You always use this one, whatever be the value of, whatever be the value of n, okay? You always use this expression, otherwise there will be some reduction of marks if you use directly this expression, okay? Anyway, so uh, this is the end of the lecture, end of this video. In the next video, I will show you the uh, calculation of velocity and acceleration and that is very simple, only differentiation is there. Differentiate x with respect to time first then you will get velocity and once again if you differentiate the same thing that is uh, d2x dt2 if you calculate then you will get acceleration okay so this is the end of this video thank you for watching this video